Good morning. I'm Robert Leger and I'm talking to you directly from the FLH docking station. I would like to give you a tip this morning on how to drain uh, to start your engine after it's been stopped all winter. Now this is a great opportunity to drain all the oil out of your engine, primary and the transmission and replace the oil with a lighter oil. In this case here, I, I've, inst I, I've put 520 oil because it's still very cold out there and by the time um, by the time I get the 4,000 kilometers I'll be able to put the regular 2050 oil. Now on the filter what I'd recommend you to do is take some high temperature bearing grease and put the grease all around here. Don't put a lot of it just to cover the 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 uh, rubber seal here so it'll be easier to remove when you do your next oil change. Next thing you want to do is remove the spark plugs and make sure the spark plugs are grounded. So get yourself some alligator clips and wires and ground them to the, uh, to the frame. Make sure they're perfectly ground. Then you just squirt some oil in each one of the cylinders. Just squirt, you don't have to put a lot, just squirt them inside there and that'll prevent the uh, the rings from sticking. Now they probably sat there all winter. Well, they sat there all winter in one's position, and they might have a little bit of rust in that. So then, what you do is you just turn the engine over, maybe um, four or five times, maybe uh, a minute at a time. You know, just run the engine, and you don't have to do it very long. A, a few turns, you know, just, just just a few turns, and um, this will get all the the, uh, this will pump the uh, oil in the oil filter. The uh, pump will get oil all over the new, the bearings, and you'll have lubrication all over, and it'll prevent a dry start. And most damage to most engines are done at startup in the springtime. You could do a lot of damage to an engine at, at a cold upside. Well, damage that you might not notice right away, but you'll notice later on is like premature wear. Now once you're finished, just reinstall the spark plugs. When you start, it'll smoke a little bit, but don't worry about it. The smoke will go away. It won't damage anything. And make sure you put the maximum tire pressure in your tires. Now, when you drive out, and you might notice if, if it's, it's, you might notice if it's slipping, the tires are not gripping as good. Just, you might want to remove like five pounds at the front and maybe eight at the back. But start off with the maximum anyway. You don't get your tires nice and hard. And that's about it as far as the uh, recommending any oils. Um, I would just go with the oil that recommended by Harley. And as far as the synthetic oil go, well, I've been given a lot of synthetic oil and I've tried it and um, I don't really see the significant difference in it uh, in the uh, synthetic oil versus the uh, good quality uh, uh, Harley Davidson oil. I've been, you know, 2050 is is uh, what I use and I change it more often that's all and that's about it uh, and happy riding and thanks for dropping in this morning and uh, ride safe and hope to see you up on the trail thank you very much bye for now